Welcome back YouTube. Today in this episode, I'm gonna walk through with you and do the rear trailing arms, which are the ones that go from front to back that connect to the knuckle to keep the wheel straight. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step. So let's get into this. Step one, jack up the car and take the wheels off. Here's the part number for the driver's side. Here's the part number for the passenger side. To get to this trailing arm, first thing we need to do is push this clip, unplug this speed sensor, and then we're going to take some pliers, pull the speed sensor out from these two mounting positions. Use a 10 millimeter socket. You're going to take this one out, this one out, and this one out. You're going to notice it doesn't just come down once you unbolt it. You actually have to push it forward on the car because it actually is hooked over this red thing. So you need to pull it like that. As you can see here, it has a little groove that it slides into the red thing on them, these two spots. And then this spot is just a normal flat. On the trailing arm, you have a seven millimeter right here that helps hold this cable in place. Need to pull that out. There's a little tab here. After you take off the screw, there's a little tab. You push the tab in and then you can pull this thing through. Just barely support the lower control arm. Don't lift it up, just as it's hanging, just support it just a little bit. We're gonna need to use an 18 millimeter to break these bolts loose. Now we can get to these two bolts that hold the trailing arm. Use a 15 millimeter socket to remove these two bolts. There's only one part of the control arm, or tr there's only one part of the trailing arm we need to transfer over, and it's this guy right here. You're gonna use a T30 Torx bit to remove it and put it on the new trailing arm. Get the trailing arm in finger tight bolts, drive these ones down till they're kind of close to touching. Then come back here, put all three of these all the way down. And then you're gonna come back to these front ones and tighten these all the way down. Put your e-brake and your wheel sensor lines back through the spots. And then put that seven millimeter screw back in Make sure that little tab is out and contacting the metal. Double check, make sure everything's tight. Hopefully this video helped you out and more than likely you should probably get an alignment after this. Um, I use Firestone because I have lifetime alignments for like 200 bucks. I've already had, this will be like number 14 alignments for the same 200 bucks I never paid again. So yeah, hopefully this saved you a bunch of money. Like, share, subscribe, check me out on Patreon if you want. Till next time, wrench on.